work, Sheila adopted the posture of the head and shoulders as well as the similarly splayed fingers. The artist's eyes, twisted upwards, come strikingly to the fore as the head tilts down. His dark face with sunken cheeks emanates from the pale background. The series of expressive self-portraits from 1912 was continued in 1914, when Sheila had himself photographed by Anton Joseph Turka. Each individual photograph plays effectively with expressive gestures and facial expressions. Whereas Klimt had rendered his figures with a certain style and grace, Sheila soon found this was not for him. His preference lay with a more expressive style, one that was less decorative and equally inspired by painters like Van Gogh and Edward Munch who, like Sheila himself, would eventually come to be seen as early proponents of a new style fittingly termed Expressionism. In Expressionism, subjective feelings and emotional expressions are given top billing, with concerns of realism and verisimilitude being pushed to the periphery. This experimental new style was soon to become all the rage in Europe, with groups across the continent and beyond latching onto it as the next big thing, and Sheila as one of its rising... The prolific enfant terrible of the early 20th century, Egon Schiele is known for his stripped down, often macabre eroticism, a path that once landed him a jail sentence for child pornography and indecency when he was just 22. It was Schiele's art teacher who recognised his artist.